What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Paul Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Paul Rowe and What's the Numbers bringing you guys. Um, Today we're talking about Christian Cruz, a.k.a. CEO Chris. Um, CW1, number one informant in the tradeway case. The guy that basically did most of the work bringing the gang down. Um, Yesterday he was on the stand. You know what I'm saying? He was talking about the dealings. Um, they had calls from him dating back from 2016. Um, transcripts is out. I'm gonna play some of the transcripts so y'all can read them. And um, he was talking about a whole bunch of stuff. He had a prior indictment from 2017 when he was selling him and his uncle got indicted for um supplying some other gang members with um with um fentanyl, heroin, MDMA, and he was supposed to be out on like three hundred something thousand dollar bail. And that was in 2017. So. I don't know how long ago, you know, how people knew about this or if he, you know what I'm saying, he was, they were still messing with him or whatever. But, yeah, he was around. He was definitely a member. He got pictures with everybody from Jim to Mel to, you know what I'm saying, the AP chain that Roe was wearing. He got pictures with all that. So, um, in these calls, he had, um, he was talking to, um, uh, one individual named Miles, um, um, shot, I'm not shot, he, Mel Murder and, um, Nuke. Nuke is the guy on trial with Harv right now. So he was talking to these dudes about different situations and different stuff. Some of the names that was being mentioned was um, Shoddy, um, Shooter, um, Ro Murder, Gato. You know what I'm saying? He talked about different things that he had going on, different dealings, different money situations, different beefs, um, all types of stuff he was mentioning, man. He was just talking about a bunch of stuff, man. And um, in some... In one of the calls, he talks about um, about a Billy War starting again. Supposedly an issue between Nuke and Mel Murder. And if you've been in tune, what's the numbers? And you go back to my Takashi video that I got. That says Takashi speaks on Harv and Nuke. Um, I already put y'all on about the issue between Mel and Nuke as far as the little internal rift they had. And supposedly, like I said, they started trying to come back together to try to get money with the whole Takashi thing before the money basically created another rift and everything. So he talks about the beef with the Miles guy and then in a later conversation Mel and him talk about it you know what I'm saying he basically like when he was Mel like when I was chasing Nuke around that's when I ran into Shoddy again and gave Shoddy basically ultimately like what you doing who you who you running with who this that and the third so um they had a little beef and then also you could tell Mel murder main issue is with um Nuke because he talks about another issue when he says Cass the rapper Cass and over two times ran into Nuke and neither one of them had a gun or nothing. And basically, Cass was like chucking his jewelry, like, yo, what's up? Let's get it shaking. Let's fight. And um, he ain't want to fight. Supposedly, Billy Otto was telling Mel murdered this. And he's saying that Billy Otto had to go and get what he had to get to basically chase him off the block, or else they would have been looking crazy and all that. And this is all in the transcript. I'm going to put that transcript in the back right now so I can read that one. And then another issue everybody was talking about, because they got on the phone another call, and they got um, CEO Chris and Mel talking. And basically, CEO Chris is talking about how Shotty's a roach. How Shadi was basically him getting work for him, him and his cousin, and running off, and doing this and doing that. Basically, just like imp, imp, just like you know, what I'm saying, just walking people down the plank, just to have them jump to their own death. Basically, like talking about different things, different guns, different drugs, different deals, and um, calling Shadi a roach. How Shadi was running off and doing little shady business and all that. And Mel's there, like, yeah, you know, they only mess with Shadi and his roach stuff. So everybody was making videos talking about how he talking, calling Shadi a roach, and they all gang members and. Listen, that's nothing. You don't think Mel never called him that to his face before? Like, you be doing roach stuff, man. That's normal stuff. Mel the big homie, so he gonna hear, he gotta listen to everybody. All those his little homies, so he's bouncing around with an ear to everybody. He say, Ro, my little homie. Um, um, Shoddy, my little homie. This is all from Mel. Like, the CEO, Chris dude's his little homie. You know what I'm saying? The only one he got an issue with is Nuke. And supposedly Nuke is even his little homie, too. So... These are just things that you got to understand. Like, so people trying to make a big deal out of how was Shadi and Mel cool again eight months later when they talking on the phone about going to Philly and all that together in 6 9 It's because that's not really that big of a deal. The CEO, Chris dude, was the guy trying to throw salt and everything and try to, like, turn people against each other and be the money man and, and the vibe. You could tell because every transcript he got, he's talking about some money doing something with this person and forget this person. I try to do that with that person and... Basically talking about this person's business and that person's business. And, um, yeah, so he got calls, he got calls with all those guys, with Nuke, with Mel. And basically, he was the main person bringing the gang down. It wasn't really Takashi. Takashi was there. Takashi had stuff from 2017, 2018.
but it wasn't no all his Takashi stuff was the new gun, the gun activity. You know what I'm saying? The more brazen acts of violence that they was doing, the Barclays shooting, the shooting in the streets in Brooklyn, the shooting in um, Midtown Manhattan, the fight over here, the fight at the hotel when supposedly somebody got cut. You know what I'm saying? That was all. That was all the six nine wave of the indictment. That wasn't the nine tray really wave of the indictment. Nine tray was that was all through CEO Chris and all these different dealings and drug dealings and robberies and different money here and there that he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Six nine was all the newest stuff with like the stuff that got shoddy in jail, food banger in jail. You know what I'm saying? Hard with the kidnapping got him on trial right now. You know what I'm saying? That's all recent. All this stuff is old stuff. In 2016 they had him. They had him. Um, phones tapped They had them phone conversations Dating back from that long ago man. So like I said Everybody was talking about The CEO Chris dude Giving a different um, Playing the audio Or playing the transcripts So I had to give y'all A little more background How we do it What's the numbers You know what I'm saying Break it down a little for y'all for My people that appreciate it Like that man But this What's the Numbers TV It's your boy Paul Rowe If you mess with the channel man Subscribe Notify Turn the notifications on I appreciate y'all man For real I'm out of here Peace